Hey guys, and welcome back to another writing vlog where I am still working on my new project, which is not so new anymore. I keep calling it that. I'm gonna continue to call it that, I think, as long as I'm doing the first draft, because as long as I'm in the first draft stage, I still feel like I'm working with a new baby and I'm completely out of my comfort zone. If you haven't seen my last writing vlog, I will link it up here so you can catch up on sort of the beginning steps. Um, that was kind of a very first, I had two sessions in that one and there was one that was sort of introducing you to my new project and then the second one was kind of an end of first month recap. And you probably noticed in that video that the end of month word count that I got to was quite low. I am still first drafting. I am still, I would say at the beginning of the story, but I've made so much progress since that last vlog. And by the end of this vlog, because it will be separate into more than one session, hopefully you will see some progress. Today what I wanted to talk about specifically was not just first drafting in general, but I wanted to talk about setting. This is something that I haven't really talked about that much on my channel, and I think it's because it's not that it took a back seat sort of before, but I think it's just where I have a bit of a weakness, and it's something I am really trying to improve in this next book, partly because as a writer, I just want to improve what I need to improve. And as someone who would like to be a published writer, obviously um, I need to work on every element of my storytelling, especially where I have weaknesses. But also because setting in particular for this next book is even more important than I think it has been in any of my books. In my last book, I had to work a lot in revisions with my setting. It was something that I actually didn't realize was so weak in my in my first drafting until I really dove into revisions. And I realized, despite the fact that my setting was somewhat clear in my mind, like it was more clear, first of all, there were things that I needed to redefine in revisions and figure out kind of for myself. And second of all, there were things that I had in my head that I just didn't convey on the page and I didn't realize it until revisions. Obviously, this is why you have revisions. First drafts are not gonna be perfect. I'm trying not to let my perfectionism <laughs> ruin my first draft of this book and make me overthink things, but I'm working really heavily on setting to make sure it's better established from the beginning, to save myself trouble in revisions when I get to revisions with this book, and also just because I think it's really important that that stuff is defined earlier on. And I think as I'm refining my writing process, as I'm writing more books, getting a stronger setting in mind and conveying a stronger setting from the beginning will improve my writing. Not just make it revisions easier, but actually improve the book and the story. I'm doing a lot of new things in this one. I have so many more characters than I've ever written in a past book. I have a much stronger setting, I feel like. So in my quest to, to really develop my setting, I have been doing a lot of types of brainstorming that I really didn't do before. For example, I found myself the other day, let's see if I can find it. I'm not probably gonna show you though because yeah. I don't think I'm gonna show you. It's really bad. I am not a sketch artist. I'm not a visual artist in any way. Like, this is not my strength. But basically, uh, long story short, I sketched out the sort of architectural layout of one of my most important buildings where a lot of my stuff is gonna happen, a lot of the, the story is going to happen in this place. And I thought it was really important that I had a layout and I knew where all the different rooms were and I knew where you know, all the different scenes were going to happen and even the history of the place. I'm not gonna get into too many details because I know you guys don't know a lot of the details about the story yet and that's how I like it. It's gonna be a secret for a little bit, a lot of the the plot elements and story elements. But this building is not a new building and I want to really convey the history through its layout. So I spent quite a bit of time actually doing this terrible sketch, but the time was not in the sketch itself as much as thinking about what, you know, the layout needed to be. And that was something I had done before actually, but not to the same extent, uh, not nearly to the same extent. So it was fun actually, and it's making me realize yet again how much I need to work on my sketching skills. Anyway, I am going to wrap up this little section of the writing vlog and get into my session for today. So I will talk to you guys very soon with another update. Okay, it has been a very long time since that last clip was filmed. I'm pretty sure if I remember it, I didn't even have bangs yet in that last clip. But anyway, I look kind of rough right now. Um, not gonna lie, it is the evening after work on a Tuesday. Over the weekend, I had four days in London for VidCon, so I'm still kind of running on, on low sleep. But right now I'm getting back into my book as of, well, as of earlier today on my lunch break. I've mentioned a few times before this book, I'm kind of writing quite a bit on my lunch break at work. I've just found it works better for me during the day than trying to do it in the evenings after work because I look like this 
I sound like this, I feel like this. <laughs> my brain is working about how you'd probably imagine it's working considering, which is not fantastic, but I actually, <laughs> surprisingly, feel like doing a little bit more writing this evening still. So I took um, probably about a week off of writing because of VidCon, because I was busy and traveling and, and you know, trying to make the most of the conference and all that. So I didn't write for several days um, and it's always a bit of a challenge. It's only a week, I mean, it's not the, the end of the world, it's not the same as taking a really long break, but it still is a break, and I felt a little bit rusty during my lunch break when I was trying to get back into the scene. Not to mention this scene introduces a character who is not a huge character, but is important for this scene because this scene is quite integral to my protagonist and to the plot, so it's kind of important that this character has done well. So basically, um, I had about 40 minutes for my lunch break today to work on this, so I spent almost all of it kind of developing that character developing the scene a little bit because um, I need to describe the place where this scene takes place which is also not a place that I've described before. So there's quite a bit of framework and like planning and brainstorming that I had to do for this this chapter that I hadn't fully done before. So that's what I spent most of my 40 minutes on lunch break doing. Um, so now I thought I'm gonna try to get just a few more words written, at least a few hundred and get a little bit more into this because I really want to write this scene. I said it's a very integral scene but what I really mean by that is that it spurs on basically the climax of my book. Um, it's kind of a pivotal moment when my character makes a decision that she needs to to go ahead, um, basically, to, to make the decision to lead to the climax. That's the best way I feel like I can describe it without giving you a bunch of spoilers. You probably can get an idea, maybe not, maybe it makes absolutely no sense. Like I said, I'm, you know, I'm tired at the end of the day, but I have enough energy to get some, some writing in because I really want to. That's the thing, when you really, really want to do something, it doesn't matter if you actually have the energy to do it, you still somehow manage to find enough to get through what you want to get through. So we'll see if this is actually a good session. I'm feeling like it will be. And I know right now I'm sitting in my bed, which is just not something I do. I never, ever, ever write in my bed, but I guess it's the combination of like it being the evening, it being dark out. I don't know, I'm trying something new. I'm gonna write sitting in my bed right now. I mean, to be fair, it's possible that in like five or 10 minutes, I'm gonna decide to get up and go to my desk or go to the table anyway, but I'm here for the moment. Hello and welcome back to another day of writing. I've just realized you can see the steam right here. That's from this cup of tea that I've just made. It is Russian Earl Grey today. This is an unusual tea flavor for me. Normally I go with, with mint or mint chai or something like that, but I've decided for Russian Earl today. I've been drinking so much tea recently because I have a little bit of a cold or something something normal for winter for me to get. But I am just about to get started on a writing session. I have my book open in front of me right here on my computer. And I'm getting so excited for where I am in the story. I'm just gonna light some candles here. I've got this little candle home thing. I don't actually know what you would call it, but I love lighting candles while I write. I'm not convinced this tea light is gonna last very long. I've already burned a little bit of it and these things are tiny, so. We'll see how long that one lasts. Where I am in my story right now, it's very exciting. I'm actually, I'm feeling the excitement building, the anticipation building. I am just about to get into the climactic part of my book. I can't believe, I mean, I should believe that it's here because I have been working on this book for several months now, but uh, it still feels exciting. It still feels almost unexpected that I'm already here. The writing is still like, I'm trying to take it slowly. I'm trying not to force myself to push ahead and to rush into it because I definitely need to be careful. Um, I have a lot of other stuff going on at work and everything. I've been sick as you can hear, so I'm really trying not to push it and uh, not to psych myself out too much, but I'm very, very excited for where I am in the story right now. I've been writing really, really regularly lately. I'm actually really proud of how regularly I've been writing because as I've said, I've been taking my book to work with me and working on my lunch breaks, which I mean, it can be anywhere from half an hour to an hour of writing, but honestly, I didn't think ever that this would work for me as well as it has. And it's become a habit. It's really become a habit like getting up and going to work every day. It's, it's become that sort of habit. So I found, I mean, looking at my, my writing log here of uh, I keep the day and the word count from every day that I've written. And this is not counting days that I have worked on like plot or details or characterization stuff. So this is purely words being written in my story. And there are several weeks of Monday through Friday 
with five days a week or maybe with missing like one day. And then of course on weekends, like today it is a Sunday and I'm gonna be working today. So I've been doing really well. And, and even if the word counts are low, even if they're 400, 500 words, which is rare, normally actually most of these are 600 and above, sometimes above a thousand, which I never, never thought I'd be able to write more than a thousand words in an hour. But even when the word counts are lower, um, just the consistency of it has helped me so much through this draft. So I am psyched. I am so, so psyched to get into this. I feel like this is the make or break. I mean, that's, that's not the right way to say it because even if it breaks, I'm gonna fix it in revisions. As I always say, I continue to say. But I think this will just be a very telling moment for me on how powerful this is, how much I'm gonna need to fix in revisions and what this story is. Even though I know the ending, I've plotted the ending, there's so much about it that I can't wait to discover as I'm writing how it's gonna work out and how it's gonna be, if that makes any sense for a plotter to be saying that she can't wait to discover. I mean, I know it's gonna happen, but there's something different about having it written down in bullet points and, you know, outline details and then actually writing it. So today my goal is to get through this last bit of, as I said, like the scene before the climax part and I'd like to get into a little bit of the next scene as well because I'm already part way through this. I stopped kind of mid scene that wasn't actually intentional, but it was because I was writing at work and my lunch break had to come to an end, but I wasn't able to, to make it to the end of a scene. So I just stopped mid scene, but that's okay. Um, I think it'll, it'll be a good pickup point still because I am still like the ball is rolling towards the climax and towards the end of the book. So I'm gonna get through this and then hopefully get through a little bit of the next scene. My current word count is a little bit over 63,000 words, which I think is good for the point of the story where I am. I'm not entirely sure how many words my climax is gonna take. I'm not yet, like I haven't written that many books in, you know, in comparison with the expert novelists out there. So I'm still a little bit of a noob in terms of being able to judge how many words a certain planned scene will be. So I really don't know exactly how long my climax will be. We'll see, I will find that out. But I do think that it's, I'm kind of on a good track to finishing my book within sort of where my goal is, which is anywhere between 80,000 and 90,000 words. That's sort of the goal right now. Obviously, if I undershoot or if I overshoot, overshooting is normally my problem, but I'm not actually sure if I'm gonna do it this time. We'll see. But if I do under or overshoot, it's okay because in revisions, I will work out all of that. I will have to fix stuff already in revisions. I'll have to add stuff. I'll probably have to delete stuff. So, I mean, that will change in revisions. So it's okay. I'm totally not worried if I do miss my mark with word count, but I, I think so far I'm on a good pace. Already so much better than my last project, which I knew at the time I was overwriting and I, I didn't even realize fully how much I was overwriting until I got to revisions and, and all of that afterward. But as I was writing that, I just knew that thing was gonna be huge because when I was at 63,000 words, I was not near my climax of my last book, not even close. So it's definitely a much better sign. I definitely did a better job outlining and planning this book to be the length that I want it to be. So we'll just see how far off the mark I may or may not be. I'm on a good path, I think. I'm really, really happy with where I am. I'm happy with my word count. I'm happy with how it's going. And I'm very, very, very excited to get into the the ending scenes of my book. I'm gonna wrap up this writing vlog here because I have this funny feeling because I've been doing most of my writing sessions at work, I don't have time or like the environment or headspace to do a writing vlog along the side of it. So I don't think I'm going to be adding another writing vlog in the first draft. I think what I'm gonna do is when I finish this, which will hopefully be this month, as I'm recording this, it's early March. I'm really hoping um, I've set myself a loose deadline of the end of March. When I do finish that, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do a sit down, like facing camera vlog and talk to you guys about the first draft. And then I'll be doing another writing vlog. I'll start another one of these when I'm in revisions, which is just weird to think about. So I'm gonna stop talking about that for the moment and I will save that for the future. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this writing vlog. I hope you have enjoyed discovering this story with me, discovering this first draft. This is my first writing vlog on a first draft, so I'm, I'm quite excited and I'm very, very excited to get into the future videos, um, talking about revisions, talking about all of that. So I hope you're excited to hear the recap of my first draft soon. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below what you're currently working on, what stage you're in, first draft revisions, getting back into something, whatever stage it is, let me know how it's going and I hope it's going very well. Thanks for watching and I will talk to you very soon in another writing video.